thing that you just you know, talk, that you talked about was a true black belt is just you just learn your ABCs. Correct. You're just learning to speak. Correct. And people think when you're a black belt, you're a master now. Mm. You know it all, and now you're going to be this you know travel mm. the world and do that. Can you explain to them that that idea of thinking that the black belt just means that you have the proper tools to start? Correct. Learning? Yeah. You know, and that's the thing, though. It's it, again, it goes. It's unfortunate in that. You know, I mean, uh, in my personal opinion, is that because it's the commercialization of martial arts in a lot of ways, especially in the United States, um, that when you say you have a black belt, it, it didn't carry the same amount of, 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 of prestige that it once did and stuff too. And um, But really what a black belt is, is, and that's the beauty of jiu-jitsu too, that it takes a long time to get your black belt. And it's a very, it's a long, arduous process. And um, what it really simply means is that now, like, that you basically have learned some fundamentals, you know, that you now have a certain way and understanding of certain basic techniques and certain movement. That's all really all it is, you know. The real learning when you become after you become is after you become black belt. That's when the real the training really starts, because now you have all these basics that you didn't know, and now it's time to put these all try to put it together and try to put it that's going to fit your body type. And then if you want to be a teacher, it's not only, okay, I'm, I'm a tall guy, so, and I'm a big guy, so I have to show this same technique to somebody smaller. Well, I have to show them something that's going to make that work for them, for their body type. And this is the part that, comes, that becomes the learning part of it, the intellectual part of it. You know, learning how to, you know, how to put their foot, how to move their body, how to feel comfortable in certain positions, like in Jiu Jitsu, for instance. And these things really come with, with a tremendous amount of, of time on the mat. In Asia, they don't ask you, you know, if you're a black belt, they ask you how long you've been training. My teachers always told me that, that it takes, uh, I think Michael Cowell wrote a book about this too, is that it takes 10 years of something or 10,000 hours to learn something and to be able to get to a point where you have a basic understanding of it. If you, and to me it's the same thing, the same thing, all my teachers always say the same thing, 10 years is usually the parameter. After 10 years, then you can make an opinion on something. Then you can say, oh, you know what, maybe that technique, maybe it's a little, maybe not quite comfortable the way I like it. 10 years. You tell that to most Westerners or most Americans, they're gonna be 10 years old, man, man, I want my black belt, I wanna go to a party and tell everybody I got a black belt, you know? Too. Yeah, yeah, I take pictures and put it on my, you know, Facebook and let you know. So it's different, you know, but uh, to me it's, it's, it is, um, it is something that, it is, the way it was explained, one of the things that my old teacher, she was that they talked about one time was, I remember reading about this too, and is that he talked about it was, it's sort of like a love affair, you know, you don't, he was, Aikido was the, the, the beautiful woman that he knew he could never have, you know what I mean, you know? But he always was trying to get close to her, you know, get close to her, you know what I mean, you know? And to me, it's sort of the same kind of thing. It's like, you get the black belt, okay, I understand the basics, but I'm always reaching, I'll never get to what I really want. I never get that close, you know what I mean? I'll never be there, you know? And, and I truly believe this, and, and I, because I've been, like I said, I've been fortunate to have so many great teachers that um, I see what they do, and I just think to myself, I can never, get to that level. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, but I'll never get to that level. And it's, it is frustrating, it is it's humbling, um, it is, uh, to say the least, it is one of the most difficult things in your life. It's, it, it is, you see things, you're like, oh, I can't, I can't do that technique, I see him do that, why don't I understand that? Why can't I move like that? Why is it that I, why, 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 why? You know, and you practice, you practice, and you think you get there and then you see, oh, that's not it, you know? And that to me is, that to me is the beautiful part of the martial arts also too, the philosophical part of it, you know? Where you, where you see things that are so almost unattainable. You know it could, it could be done, but you've got to constantly try to strive to that. And that's what really, uh, to me, is what the, is, is the pure essence of martial arts, is, is that ability to see that, you know, that you're limited in what you can really do, you know? But try to get to it and try to push yourself through it to, to find perfection in the movement, if there is such a thing. I think there is, you know, you know, I mean, in Zen, they like, they call it the sort of enlightenment, you know, where your teacher makes it, and you see somebody, and you see somebody, I saw my teacher, Jeepers, Jeepers, they do something, and I thought, but how does somebody do that? You know, this person's an enlightened person, how could he do that, you know? See, Master Gracie, the same thing, or, you know, see other amazing jujitsu guys, I'm like, man, how do they do that, you know? And that's, to me, you know, that to me is really the, 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 the beauty of martial arts, you know, because I don't think anything in life, there are very few things in life that you can add both the physical and the spiritual and the, uh, um, and the intellectual part all in one. You know what I mean? Because they always say the samurai have to have three things. You know, you have to study something physical, which is the martial arts, something spiritual, you know, and something intellectual. Those are the three things. You know, and to me, martial arts combines all of that. 